Welcome to Digits, I'm Steve Russolillo. Google has officially filed a patent for a wearable electronic skin tattoo. Wow. The product is a temporary blemish that will be applied with a sticky substance to the skin and can be used as a lie detector as well as a link to other mobile devices. Will this idea revolutionize how we interact with technology? For an answer, we are joined by Ryan Pamplin, co-founder of Brand Ads, a video ad measurement company. Ryan, thanks for much, so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so it's, talk, uh, talk a little bit about this idea here I mean, and this patent. I mean, this, this sounds crazy. It does. It sounds like uh, one of those sci-fi kind of ideas. But, you know, I think what we're really looking at here is one small piece of a much bigger wearable computing platform that doesn't quite exist yet. And I think it's going to make a lot more sense when we see all the other pieces that go to the system. So what's the future for this, both the short term and the long term here? I mean, is this, is this a potentially profitable idea here for Google? Sure. I think, you know, wearable computing is absolutely uh, the future of computing. And you know, this is kind of uh, the input device for whatever that future wearable computing device is. And it's absolutely uh, going to drive a lot of revenue for Google because it's a whole new area. Uh, but this is really just a small piece. So on its own, I don't know if it's going to drive revenue. But as a whole system, absolutely big opportunities on the horizon. You're see, we're seeing a little, uh, an image there. I mean, when, when I think of wearable technologies, at least right now, I think of you know, Google Glass. I mean, this, this seems like such a, the, the next step in, the, in that sort of evolution. So one, I'm wondering if that's the case. And two, uh, the idea of this being a, a, a calling it a tattoo, that's sort of an interesting sort of, it, it's a branding opportunity, or, or why use the word tattoo here? Calling it a tattoo is something that puzzled me, too, initially. Uh, although, you know, it's doing a great job of getting the press talking about it and getting people interested and excited. If they just called it a throat microphone, I don't know if that would have the same impact <laughs> as a tattoo. But it's really a sticker with a microchip inside of it, uh, which is going to have some sort of power source embedded as well. Uh, it's unclear exactly how it will work technically, but uh, you know the idea is to apply it here on the throat and then have it wirelessly communicate with uh, another device that actually will connect you to your network. What's the practicality of this product? I mean, is this something that we are going to see tomorrow, or is this something that's way down the road here? I think, you know, it's not something we're going to see people wearing around tomorrow on their necks, but it's definitely something uh, that we're going to see within maybe the next decade or so as wearable computers become the norm. Imagine a scenario where you're not wearing glasses that can have a bone conduction sort of microphone behind your ear like Google Glass, but imagine a future where you've got Google Contacts, you know, or whoever makes the device and wins this wearable computing war. How are you going to get audio from that wearable uh, screen in your eye? You've got to have some sort of microphone. And if you've got something as convenient as uh, a contact, you're not going to want to carry around a microphone. So putting it on the throat, when you think about it in that context, actually starts to make a lot of sense. And it's not just humans, right? This is also going to be possible for animals? Sure, the patent does mention uh, animals. Uh, so imagine a scenario where you've got a robotic voice you know, from your dog telling you he's hungry or that he loves you. Uh, or better yet, uh, using the lie detector function, know when he's lying to you. That is just unbelievable. And so how, for your company, Brand Ads, how does all of this sort of relate to what you guys are doing and what you're trying to achieve? Sure. Well, we measure digital video ads for brands and agencies. Uh, so thinking about how this fits into advertising, you can imagine a future world where you know, you're having a conversation with a friend and your device knows what you're talking about. Maybe you say you're thirsty and all of a sudden all the outdoor ads all of a sudden are targeted uh, at you with beverage ads, you know, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, you know, Fanta, whatever. All right, Ryan Pamplin, co-founder of Brand Ads, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.